video is for my ladies who are having breast cancer reconstruction, specifically the reconstruction that involves liposuction and fat transfer to the breasts. And it's especially for my ladies who are researchers who want to know all the information from all the journal articles on the operation that they are about to get. So my name is Kathleen Listen. I am a lymphedema therapist. I'm an oncology massage therapist and I'm a board certified massage therapist. And I'm the author of a book called The Plastic Surgery Recovery Handbook. I help clients after their liposuction fat transfer um, as part of their breast cancer reconstruction. And I give each one of these clients a copy of this book at their first uh, appointment with me for lymphatic massage and when they come back for their second appointment they say hey Kathleen I've read half this book I've read the entire book it is so valuable I wish I had it before surgery so that's why I'm making this video to let you know that it's a great resource for you before surgery and what is in the book it's all based on uh, published research from journal articles and it's giving you information on how to reduce swelling, how to reduce hardness in your tissue after the liposuction operation. Um, what are all these compression options you see online? What are the foam options you see online? Especially if your surgeon has said, let's just wear this abdominal binder and come back and see me, you know, in two, three weeks. It gives you information on dry brushing. If you want to try dry brushing, it gives you a chart on how to properly do dry brushing. It gives you information on scar care. And this would be the great start of a conversation with your surgeon on how to take care of your scar scars and you're coming into this conversation with the um, information from the journal articles that you read in this book so you can say hey I read in this journal article because all the journal articles are in the back hey I read in this journal article about this type of scar care do you think this is what I should use um, it also gives information on different complications that happen after plastic surgery operations. Again, so you, if you are the researcher, so you can know just a little bit about everything that might happen before you go through the surgery, if that is going to make you feel more confident and more in control, I absolutely um, invite you to get a copy of the Plastic Surgery Recovery Handbook. It is available in Kindle and paperback on Amazon. Amazon.